Welcome to yet another episode of Retro Rutabaga Games. Today we'll be playing a Sega CD game. Sean, my little brother Sean is back. Shawnee boy. Hello. He's going to be playing the game. This game is called Stellar Fire. I've never heard of this game in my life before. Have you, Sean? No. But I bought it for $3, which is a steal. It comes in the full case, too, which is even better, because these Sega CD cases are somewhat difficult to find. You could have just stole it, too. I could have just stole it, but there was no disc in the case. So, go fuck yourself. So I have no idea what this game is about. I, like I think one. it's a shooter. Yeah, be the. Well, I think one, that's. I like this one. Do it. Just do it. I don't think you pick. I think it's just a enemy select screen. So yeah, this is a bonus episode. Go. All right, shoot the shoot the dragon oh, wait, thing. I can go fast. What is that? I can go like 200 miles per hour. What? Oh, okay. Are you gonna shoot things? You're going past like everything. I know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Either. I think you have to. So you see how it's 87? No, that doesn't mean well, that's my speed. Oh. So Kilometers or miles per hour? Why is everything trying to fucking ram themselves into me? Well, fucking birds. <laughs> what do we do? What the fuck is that? <clears throat> Let me read the back of the box, Shiny Boy. Draxon Cybernauts march across the galaxy, hacking, blasting, crushing all who oppose them. And now the heartless race of machines is aiming its firepower at Earth itself. Just fucking crushing everything with my fucking windshield, that's what's going on. As the last remaining fighter pilot in the stellar force, you must battle through layers of enemy infested moons to reach the Draxon home planet and destroy it. Fuck those Draxons, <laughs> I'm hyped. Only your piloting and weapon skills can keep Earth's 10 billion human beings from being overrun and enslaved. So, grab the controls, blast away, the Draxon must die. This game has state-of-the-art polygon-based graphics, room-shaking sound effects, and thunderous, thundering CD music. Buzz circles around your enemies, view and attack from a totally unique 360-degree perspective. It's like someone just made these fucking models. Can you turn around? Because yeah. I think you need to kill people. Steer your ship in any direction on ultra realistic 3D moons. You decide the hover path, like five, not the game. There's like five fucking moons. Which way do I go? Was there an introduction? Oh, wait, there's where I go. Was there an introduction? No, because I we know missed it. It was uh, narrated by Michael Dorn, who's uh, Worf from Star Trek Next Generation. We fucking missed Unless Worf, bro. Read all those enemy descriptions. Fucking frogs. Are you gonna are you gonna kill those items? Are you gonna kill them? There you go. That's how you do it. He was kind of ramming into me. Was I think it, you can that stop. Wasn't me killing him. Pretty sure you can stop. Yeah, but why would I do that? Because you're gonna die. I don't even know where my health is. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's here. It's because it's in the red. No, that's how fast I'm going. It's my engines. That's not your engines. Well, first off, if your engines are in red, that's not good. That's totally your health, Sean. No, you're right. It was your engines. Dumbass. Can I try? These are these. Ooh, I'm gonna try now. I actually know what to do. <laughs> oh, it's always in the red. Yeah, so you don't have to go. Look, you Why can control your- Why would you not wanna go? You're gonna play with the birds all day? They oh. don't stop spawning. Oh my god. There's another laser. What's the other button? Next to it. B? Yeah, and then the other one's a bomb. Use the bomb for your die. Um, Alright, this is kind of cool You're actually. supposed to run towards the mission. The little white thing. I'll go 8 miles per hour. Oh, that's some grandma or something. Look! I want to kill everything. They just keep spawning. There's no This point. is actually kind of cool. Looks like they're, it's like their first time making polygons or something. <laughs> yeah. Well, dude, have you ever played Star Fox 1? Like this kind of. Well, no, it looks worse. Do. Yeah, the models kind of do. Let's just fucking go. <laughs> What's this? It's a oh god! Oh god! It helps you, I guess, when it blows up. There's Fox. Look. I don't 
don't know how many bombs you have. I'm guessing you have one more. I'm, I'm glad I used it. Oh, yep, yep, that was my last bomb. Thanks. <laughs> I wonder if I need the six-button controller for this. I maybe, feel like I'm missing Maybe if you things. just don't look at them, they won't hit you. Oh, you see him? He got smoked. Yeah. I can't even aim! Use both missiles at the same time. Fuck Blue you. Fast. Yeah, you gotta like do that 24 7 or something. I don't know what that is. It could be a rock formation. Uh -huh. I'm killing it. <laughs> Dude. I think this game is I wonder worth if the they money. Made a second level. Shot. Oh, what is this? That's that thing that humps the ground and gets mad if you shoot at it, but it's not doing anything. Touch it. Look at all these fucking things here. Hey, I need more like missiles. Oh fuck! Someone just hit me. Ah, you suck! Alright, I wonder if these guys even end. Maybe if you don't look at them, they just... Oh god, where'd he come from? He's fucking like T-boning me! You, hey, hey, asshole. Where, where the fuck are you going? <laughs> ah, shit. Everything just comes to kill you. I know. Planet. Everything doesn't like me. Go towards the, uh, the white. Oh god. The mountain, I guess. Going towards the mountain. Before I die. Jesus. She's that. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I need like light. Time, dude. I know. Oh, oh god, a plant! It's in the way. I almost. That's a powerful plant. I tried shooting it like a thousand times. Oh wait. Do you. Are you next to the mission place? Well, see, I, Sean, I think I told you I need to destroy everything. So I need to destroy. I don't think you need to destroy everything. Because there's like a little radar thing telling you to go somewhere. Maybe you need that ruby crystal. You need that ruby crystal. What thing. ruby crystal? To your right. To your right. Just touch it. Oh, hell yeah. I thought that was. You can't get any health or nothing from it. I health. Windshield, come on. Oh yeah, my like god! That's good. I can't reverse, can I? That sucks. Are these like homes? Do I have to kill? Oh, what the fuck? This guy's circling me again! Bitch. <laughs> oh god, what the hell? There's two of them? Just have paid. a life, bro. This is their life. Oh god! Wait, do I? I don't. I can't shoot. Oh god! Now I'm getting away from that thing. Just go to the this game confuses the hell out of me. <laughs> I don't know what that was. You really like that laser, huh? Blue one like one shots those things. So does the yellow one. Well, yeah, but it's slow as fuck. Oh boy. It's like I'm in a dog fight right now. Ah, boom! You wanna try again? I don't know, sure. Let me find out what the fuck you're supposed to do. We're going to the instruction manual. Do you just crash into shit? You just ignore everything. Pretty sure I'm right. Page six for gameplay. I know what to do. This will be easy. Fuck birds, dude. Oh, 
this one shuts everything. Begin your attack on the outermost moon of the Ar Arcturan star system, Zark's Vor. Here oh, you must fight your way. Yeah. Here, that makes sense. Here you must fight your way across the moon through oh. Draxon, Draxon minion, minions. Classic I can't read. Draxon, dude. Following your radar indicator, collecting moon crystals. So you're right about the moon crystals. Be sure to look for power-ups along the way. Once you collect all the moon crystals, you proceed to the guardian of that moon. Blast the guardian crystal to release each moon's ultimate warrior. You must defeat the guardian to advance to the next moon towards Ar Arctura. Once the final moon is defeated, you are taken to the Arctura itself. It is here that you must seek out and destroy whatever it is that binds the Drexon together. Together, the Draxon are invulnerable, but when splintered, they can be destroyed. Why is everything fucking randomly on this planet? Well, I don't know. Get the crystal. Like, what even, was that? Even thing? the flying fuckers ran into me. Flying I think fuckers. They killed themselves to hurt me. They got nothing to lose. What are those things? We didn't see those things before. Apparently, they hit me. Oh, yeah. Did you get one crystal already? Yeah. Oh, you did? Well, you're wrong. Look at you. What the fuck? Ooh. Jesus. What do you think? This game's worth two dollars? Three dollars? There's a lot of other worse. Hey, you got it. There's a lot of worse Sega on, CD boys? games. This one's actually pretty fun. What do you think? I think I have no clue what's going on. Yeah, like I mean, we got the hang of it. The we read the frames are so laggy. Well, it's fine. It's like three frames per second. But now we know what's going on because I read the manual. See? I already guessed it. I can't shoot. Oh, I can't shoot. Why not? It's so laggy. Uh. Will I make it to the last one? I think I see it. No, that's just your laser. You gotta shoot that fucker. Yeah, well, I think if you don't look at anything, they can't hit you. Yeah, that's good. Good logic. Oh no. <laughs> I think that's it. Alright. <laughs> Thanks for watching yet another random episode of Retro Ruta Bay Games. We're playing Stellar Fire on the Sega C D. Game sucks. There's a lot of other worse games on the Sega CD. Pro, trust me. You ever plays Prize Fighter? Jeez, you've never played anything. <laughs> you plays play Prize Fighter on the Sega C D. Thanks again for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all that fun crap. Say bye, shiny boy. See ya. Bye.